The latest forecast shows a slightly elevated inflation profile on account of recent exchange rate pressures and adjustments in transportation fares. However, the projections show that inflation will remain within the monetary policy consultation clause of 13 to 17 percent at the end of the year. These forecasts are contingent on sustaining the tight monetary policy stance, including aggressive liquidity management operations. Given these considerations, the committee decided to maintain the monetary policy rate at 29 percent. Dr. Ness had the same no abusia wien wadi bi to aso se ade aba ko aban edi gu akwa mu na tumi stabilize e sidi no ama e sidi na nya ho ade na anko atumi abu currency sa ho do aka bi ti se dollar euro ni de ka ho no e ye se aban ni fight papa pass wa de je be gu akwa mu na forest bureau se wo man mu a wo mu ese se sika sika se sa fo no e ye de je be gu no wo ma di so wa so be we no wo mu ese sika se sa fo na ko social media be for ten time so now, one more publish it for us rates. When you see the no, and I want to say, Dollar need to say, was it who are a fake? And you are there, and my mom, who are not the Abu Apato, and you will be called Nako Huan, then you will see the Nibia, no DC, or Dollar Nibia, no DC. What the Coco Boss room, what the amount, South Forest Bureau, for us, one when you are winning. The Bank of Ghana remains fully committed to provide stability in the exchange rate for the CD. The bank has enough foreign exchange reserves to support the market and economic agents should stop engaging in speculative purchases as they will suffer economic losses when the correction occurs. The Bank of Ghana is taking measures to improve market conduct and instill sanity in the market 
for foreign exchange. To this end, the bank has worked with the Ghana Association of Banks to streamline documentation requirements for foreign payments to minimize the incentives to resort to the informal markets. To deal with the high demand pressures on the foreign exchange market, the bank has taken steps in the past few weeks to directly absorb foreign exchange needs of some corporate institutions, and this has led to a reduced pipeline demand for foreign exchange from the commercial banks. The bank is fully aware of the operations of illegal operators in the foreign exchange market and is working with the Financial Intelligence Center to sanitize the market. I was your doctor, Ernest Nyambiana. Uh, what the